This video is sponsored by MotionVFX. As a Final Cut Pro user, I heavily rely on plugins to speed up my editing process and achieve professional results. If you're unfamiliar with plugins, they are additional tools that can be added to your editing software to enhance its capabilities. Recently, MotionVFX released a new game-changing plugin, Design Studio, which allows you to access quality elements that you can drag and drop to your timeline within seconds. Plus, with their new AI-based caption tools, which I'm especially excited about, you can easily create subtitles in different styles. So in this video, we'll take a closer look at its amazing new plugins and see how it can help you create better content. To get started, MotionVFX offers a 14-day trial for Design Studio, during which you can experience all of its features and decide if it's the right fit for you. Once signed in, you can download the M extension, allowing you to browse, download, and apply elements directly to your timeline without leaving Final Cut Pro. During the installation process, you will also be given the option to download M captions, which I highly recommend. Once installed inside Final Cut Pro, select the puzzle piece at the top, and you should find the M extension and M captions. So let's start with the M extensions plugin and show you how to drag and drop elements onto your timeline quickly. Select the M extensions in the workflow extension apps. A window will then appear, allowing you to browse all the available categories and elements. A good idea is to set up your working space and save it. I like to have the M extensions window to the side and File Cut Pro beside it, allowing me to drag and drop elements seamlessly. To save this as a working space, I can head over to the top menu bar, select Window, Workspace, and then Save Workspace As, name it, and hit Save. Then the next time you open up Final Cut Pro, choose your M extension workspace and you're good to go. The M extension window is intuitively made, allowing you to search for the correct elements easily. I can use the search bar at the top and type in the element I'm looking for. For example, if I want to apply a transition to my video, I can type in transition and get all the available options. I can choose a collection or browse all the individual transitions. I'll go with my favorite one, the M Transition Noise Collection. I can click on it and you can see I get a nice preview of what effects are in the package. I can either download the full pack or if I select Show More, I can download the transitions individually from this pack. Once I find one I like, I can download it and drag and drop the element onto my timeline. It's that simple. What's also cool is that I can right click on the element to add it to a collection or to my favorites. This way I can easily access the most used elements in the library section without searching for them every time. Another way I like to search elements is to click on the icon in the search bar. This way you can search by theme, type or plan. Let's say for my cinematic vlog video, I am searching for a title. I can select cinematic as the theme, then typography for the title, and then browse through the ones I like. To preview the title animation, I can hover over it. And once I have one, I can download and easily drag and drop the element onto my timeline again. You can see how powerful and convenient the M extension window is for finding and adding elements to your project, which makes editing easier. The best part is that you can access 3,100 plus motion design elements with the basic plan, which is constantly growing. Having all of these elements at your fingertips means you won't have to buy each pack individually, which will cost you way more. Now, Design Studio also includes M captions, which I've applied to this video, as you can see. So let's take a closer look at how you can use it to generate subtitles accurately. What makes M captions so powerful is its ability to create captions in over 90 languages and 50 different styles with just one click. You no longer need to add subtitles manually or export your videos to other software. Everything you need is now in one convenient place. To begin, open M captions in the workflow extension panel. A window will appear that you can move and place wherever you like. By hovering your mouse over the caption styles, you can see a preview of how each animation looks once applied. After choosing a preset you like, you can easily modify it by adjusting the text size, position, and width. The width allows you to control how many words appear on the screen. You can also select whether you want one or two lines of captions. 
By choosing more settings, you'll get additional options to personalize M captions further. A really cool feature is the word by word options where the captions sync each word with the speaker's voice animating in real time. If you prefer to animate the whole sentence instead, you can turn off the word by word option and use the animated in feature, which will animate the entire line of text at once. Once I choose the caption style, I can select the video's language, or you can also set it to auto for automatic detection. Then I just need to drag the project and drop the file where it says drop file here. You can also drop other media types like wave or complete video files. The process is the same. If you have a very complex timeline, exporting the entire video as a MOV or WAV file might be easier and then bring those files back into Final Cut Pro to generate the captions. From here on, simply click Analyze Audio and it will do its magic. Now, how fast the caption runs will depend on the computer you're using and the video length. Now I'm using the MacBook Pro M1 Max and for a 36 second video clip, this only took like five seconds. Once done, there are a few ways to export it. You can drag and drop the captions as a storyline directly on top, import them as a project into your Final Cut Pro library, or export them as SRT files to use outside of Final Cut Pro. For example, importing those captions to your YouTube video. I'm simply going to click and drag these into my timeline by using the drag from here option. I can now close M captions, and once I play it back, this is what we get. So I'm heading to Berlin for the IFA event, which is the world's largest consumer and electronics show, where I will be hosting a workshop on DJI handheld products. And I thought it would be awesome to bring you along for the ride and share some valuable tips on how to create a cinematic vlog using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 that I'm using right now. This camera is incredibly popular for vlogging thanks to its compact size and great video quality. And recently I've been enjoying it even more than my iPhone. So let's get started. I need to catch my flight and let's create something awesome. This worked really great. I didn't need to make any changes, but I suggest checking for spelling mistakes. If you find something that needs editing, you can easily adjust it by selecting one of the titles and going to the parameters to make your changes. To break it apart and connect them to the storyline, just select all and press command option up arrow. This way, when you decide to move a clip, the captions will stay connected to it. This also applies to vertical content. For example, if I want to use this 16 by nine video on Instagram, I can right click on the project, choose duplicate project as, and select a vertical in the format options. Be sure to select smart conform so it automatically adjusts clip with different aspect ratios to the matched project size. Then name it and hit okay. Then again, I can open up M captions, select the style I want, drop the project files in it and hit analyze audio again. Once done, I drag the captions to the timeline and this is what we get. So I'm heading to Berlin for the IFA event, which is the world's largest consumer and electronics show where I will be hosting a workshop on DJI handheld products. And I thought it would be awesome to bring you along for the ride and share some valuable tips on how to create a cinematic vlog using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 that I'm using right now. Now I'm really happy that Motion VFX created M captions to make adding captions to our videos easier. It's fast and efficient, plus it allows for customization and flexibility. It's about time someone made a user-friendly captioning tool for Final Cut Pro and M Captions really delivers. As a regular user of Motion VFX plugins, I find that M Extension plugins helps me manage everything more easily. I can save my favorite elements and add new ones I didn't have before. It's also a great way to explore different element packs that fit your style with the option to buy those standalone packs uh, if you want. I highly recommend trying out M Captions and M Extension plugins to see how they can make your video editing smoother. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in learning more, here are my top plugins that can help you create better videos. Until then, see you.